So you're ready to start safety proofing. Perfect, because it's not at all overwhelming. You just need like a couple of those, and of course you need some of these, and, and you're gonna need this, obviously. This, you probably need one of these. It is help. It can be overwhelming as a parent to think about safety proofing the home. As a mom and a pediatrician, I believe it's one of the most important jobs a parent has to do. I'm here with Dr. Kang from Pediatric Associates, so please help us. Take us around the house, show us the major offenders. Absolutely. Here's one here. This TV is wall mounted, which is perfect. If the TV was on a TV stand, it needs to be tethered, as well as any large object that can topple over on a child. Another major offender located all around the home are electrical outlets. Electrical covers need to be used so that little fingers and little things don't get stuck in there and cause a big shock for the child. Walk around the house, get down on your hands and knees, and look for sharp corners on objects. It's important to use locks on cabinets and drawers to prevent kids from getting into objects that can poison or harm them. It only takes a couple of inches of water for a child to drown, so it's important to lock the lid on your toilet. Thank you so much, Dr. Kang. You know, I have a feeling there are a lot more offenders around the house. There are a lot more safety issues that we didn't have time to cover. Please visit our website for more information. Well, we've come a long way. When I was a kid, they just used to put stickers on things that were poisonous or harmful. Mr. Mr. Yuck. Yuck. Yes. I'm Jenny Eisenman, and that's The Scoop. So it seems a little less overwhelming. Uh, though I think I probably need to put a couple things back. If you're looking for a pediatrician or would like more information about this segment, visit pediatricassociates.com. We have 21 convenient locations throughout South Florida.